To best explain how mountains are made, you need to understand that the Earth is made up of different layers. A solid core in the center, a liquid outer core, and then a mantle of heavy rock which is partially liquid. The part that we live on is the crust. Now, the Earth's crust is made up of large sections called plates. The plates float on the liquid mantle and are constantly moving. Sometimes, these plates press together. When they do, the pressure causes the plates to buckle into folds. That's why they're called fold mountains. Most of the great mountain ranges on Earth are fold mountains. The Himalayas in Asia and the Andes in South America are all examples of fold mountains. Now sometimes when the Earth's plates collide with each other, one plate gives way because the crust is weak. The place where the crust is weak is called a fault. That's how fault mountains are formed. The Sierra Nevada Mountains are an example of fault mountains. Now sometimes, melted rock from deep inside the Earth, called magma, forces its way through the crust. We call this a volcano. When the magma oozes out of the Earth, we call it lava. As the lava cools, it turns to solid rock, and that's the beginning of a mountain. There are active volcanoes all over the world. One of the coolest land formations you will see on Earth is called a plateau. A plateau is a highland that is flat on top. Plateau in French means platter. A platter is flat. You can find good examples of plateaus in and around the Grand Canyon in North America. Some plateaus erode or are worn away and get smaller. We call these land formations mesas.